Setting up a 2 high time Android tablet. This is the 11 inch running off the Android 14. It comes with the keyboard and the mouse. We'll take a look at them in a second. It's got the 12 gigs of RAM, the 128 gigabyte hard drive, expandable to one terabyte. If you're interested in this specific one, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. But to get it set up, we're gonna go ahead, pull back the cover, and we're going to remove this protective film, and then we're going to turn it on. So we'll go ahead and take this cover off, turn it on, press and hold this power button till it turns on. There it goes, turn it on. So I'm going to select English, go ahead and start. I don't need to change the language or anything. Then we're gonna go ahead and get it connected to a Wi-Fi. I'll go ahead and type in the password. I connected to the Wi-Fi. Now it's getting everything ready. There we go. So now we have an option to transfer our apps and photos and contacts from a Google account. Um, if we have an old tablet, if we're going from an old tablet to a new tablet, I'm setting this up as new, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click Next. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set this up for my child, so I'm gonna go ahead and select Child. And she does not have a, an account yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up an account for her. So let's select Let's Go. Put in her name, off screen. Then you're just gonna put in her birth date. Then I'll select a username for her. Then it's gonna ask us to set up a password. Then, then it prompts me to enter the parent's email address. So I'm gonna enter my email address. So once it does that, it goes through a bunch of just kind of information about setting up an account for a kid, you agree to it. So now I gotta find my Google account password. All right, so I got the password right. I actually remembered my Google password. So now I have a choice. So I'm going to choose in, you can choose in fewer steps. I'm going to choose in more steps because I think that's going to give me the option to not send certain data. So I'll keep for 18 months her data so that she can still, you know, get on and I don't really like these options like not save it at all or save it for three years seems kind of long. Choose whether to link these services. I don't think we need to link these services. Only parents can change the settings. Confirm. Agree to the thing. And now the account is being created. I'm halfway there. I gotta set up the parental control. So let's set up the parental controls. So there are filters for stuff for her, appropriate for her age. I'm okay with that. Set up Google Kids space. This seems nice. Allow teacher approved. I'll go ahead and allow teacher approved stuff. Yeah, I don't want her buying anything. I'm just gonna block mature sites. Now, I'm not gonna allow all sites, but I'm also not gonna have to get approval for every site. Go ahead and set up YouTube. I'll go ahead and just give her access to YouTube Kids. Choose a content. So I will allow her to search. So all I need to do now is finish setting up this device. 
So I'm going to turn off this sending of data. So I'm going to go ahead and set a pin for her. I've got this pin set. I'll hit next. I got to re-enter it. Confirm it. So we can, I can do all this stuff. I think I'm done for now. I'll have this all set up for her. Welcome to Kid Space. Tap on at least three things you like. So now I'm done for now. This is when I would pass it over to my daughter so she can go and set it up um, with the stuff that she likes for the okay. themes that she Tap likes some things you like. and stuff like that. So if you're interested in this particular tablet, I'll go ahead and put a link down below. Thanks a lot for watching.